Hello, so today we are making an impressionist painting. So we're going to be doing a vase with flowers. And so what you're going to need is you're going to need a white piece of paper. And then you're going to want to choose a different color for your vase. Um, when making the vase, you're going to have it folded in half. And you're going to draw out, draw out what your vase is going to look like. So if you can see, I just drew a vase. And let's keep in mind that we want the vase to be about half of your white piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to create this painting. So you're going to want a white piece of paper. And then you're going to want to choose a different color, anything not white, for your vase. And then you're going to want some scissors to cut out your vase and glue to glue down your vase onto the white piece of paper. And then you're going to want some tempera paint and it's not going to stain, it's washable so that's super nice. And then you want to choose, um, you could do wax paper, any material that's not going to absorb the paint, you're going to cut it out into pieces and then you're going to apply that paint to those pieces and then you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to put it on the white piece of paper and that's going to be your flowers. Okay, so what I just did was I cut out my vase and this is what it looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to use glue to uh, get it to stay on the paper. Okay, so now that we have our vase on our paper, we are going to start working um, on making the flowers. So what you're going to do is you're going to apply um, paint onto your material that you can make the flowers on. So I'm going to do, first start with some orange, some yellow, and some white. And you're going to fold it in half, the paint spreads, and then you're just going to add a few of them, like that. And then you're just going to do some different colors so you can get different color flowers. And when putting your colors on here, we're going to want to do colors that don't, um, make brown. So we could do red and blue to make purple. And then we're going to add some white. So now that I have my flowers and my vase done, I am going to go back with some black to add some details to the flowers and the vase. Like, and the fun part is it's going to look different for everybody because they're going to choose different colors and the vase is going to look different. So that's so fun.